In this lesson, we're going to talk about using backplates. So a backplate is just going to be a background image for your model to look like it's being placed in. Okay, so let's talk about why you would want to use a backplate in the first place. These environment images that create your lighting do a fantastic job of, of doing that. You know, they, they do a really nice job of creating realistic lighting very quickly and easily. However, uh, because of distortion and uh, you know strange looks from you know really bright areas, they're not always the best choice for using as your background image. So what you can do is continue to use your environment image as your lighting, and you can load in a backplate. Now before I do that, um, the one thing I want to do is go to preferences again really quick and remind you and refresh your memory about this setting here, which is adjust aspect ratio to backplate. Now, if I uncheck this, click Save Changes, and I open up my library, uh, notice these backplates here. They have a little bit more of a 4-3, you know, almost square aspect ratio, whereas my aspect ratio in the real-time view is more of a widescreen 16-9 ratio. Okay, if I drag and drop this in here, Notice what happened is that uh, I do have these black areas now that uh, surround my image. And that's because this view hasn't changed uh, to fit uh, the backplate, so you will get these black bars on either side. Okay. Now, if I go back to Preferences and select Adjust Aspect Ratio to Backplate, I can go to Library, and let's drag and drop in a different backplate. So what's going to happen there is my real-time view is going to be adjusted to fit the size of the backplate. And of course I can uh, rescale that after the fact, but that's what adjust ratio to backplate is going to do for you. Now, really important thing to understand here is that, again, this backplate really has no effect on the model or the lighting. The only thing it's doing is serving as the background image. My lighting is still derived from the environment. I can position my model inside this image using the camera controls. Okay. And if you're not sure what the camera controls are, there is a tutorial that covers that. And also at any time you can always press the K key, which will pull up your hotkeys list and you can see how to control your camera. Now, I can still adjust my environment brightness. So I can use the up and down arrows. And you can basically position this model in any way you like inside your background image. Now all common image file formats are supported. And also the ground reflections will work with backplates. So if I go into my environment tab, and select to use ground reflections, uh, that will also be projected onto the backplate. Okay, so that's a look at backplates.